Hello, and let's talk about heart valves, which is another topic that is often very confusing because of the terms involved in it. So what are heart valves? These are kind of like doorways. They're doors that protect different chambers of the heart. There are four chambers, if you remember. And so there are also four doorways. And their main purpose is to prevent backflow. They prevent uh, blood from flowing back, so they support unidirectional blood flow. Um, let's start with the, this is our right side again, so this is where the blood is coming back all rich in oxygen, so it's coming back from the lungs. This is, if you remember, this is our lungs, and it comes back into, you should know this already, this is called the pulmonary vein. So it comes here and once it enters the um, the right atrium, so I'm going to draw my blood again. Let's draw our blood here. Once it enters the right atrium, it encounters the first doorway. So I'm gonna, let me just underline this here. So it's right here. This is our first, first, first valve. And this valve is called it's called, ooh, okay, wait. It's called mitral, mitral valve. This is number one, mitral valve. Um, and if you look at it closer, I'm gonna use a different color. Let me just use, let's just see. I'm gonna use a fancy looking orange color again. If you look at it closer, valves are they're so they're kind of like circular in shape, and they have these these kind of like little doorways. These little doorways here, these are called, these are called leaflets. Because they do like, like leaves, and there are three of them for each valve. So if you look from the side, when the valve is open, these leaflets, they basically open up like this. And they let the blood flow through. Then, uh, this is during the um, contraction of the heart, and something I forgot to mention last time: the heart contraction contraction is called. There's a word for it. It's called. I'm going to use red. Oh, here. Contraction and relaxation. I'm going to use different colors. So the heart contraction is called. Let's use red. It's called systole. Systole. And relaxation is called diastole. So during the systole, uh, the leaflets open up and let the blood through. During diastole, the leaflets close and no blood flow flow occurs. So it's a unidirectional uh, blood direction and it prevents backflow. So mitral valve is first. Then once the blood is inside your right uh, ventricle, V ventricle, this here, the next, the next valve right here, number two, valve number two, is called aortic, aortic valve. Because if you remember from the other video, um, this is called aorta, so this here is aorta, and it's the doorway to the aorta. Then the blood goes, all nice and oxygenated, it goes into your body, it gives away oxygen, and it comes back with CO2, it comes back here with CO2, and then it also comes back here with CO2, and goes inside your left aorta, goes inside your left aorta, this is your left aorta right here, and encounters the first doorway, first valve, and this valve is called, it has a difficult name, it's called tricuspid, or is it tricuspid? Sometimes people say tricuspid, I say tricuspid. Uh, tricuspid valve is your first valve 
uh, with the CO2 blood. Then it enters the left ventricle and encounters the second valve, right? Uh, or it's, I guess it's the fourth valve right here. And this is called pulmonary because it goes inside the lungs afterwards and it also goes inside the pulmonary artery. So this is pulmonary valve, pulmonary valve. So if we look at this again, first one, first one, let, let me just use a different color, something, something really, really cool and fancy. Uh, let's try something pinkish because pink is cool. Pink is for cool people. All right, let's go with this here. Um, so the first valve is metro, M is metro. Second valve is aortic. Third valve is tricuspid. And the fourth valve is pulmonary. And the way to remember this is just by a, a simple acronym. I'm going to write this right here. So I usually just remember M, A, T, P. Now, this might not be easy to remember, but I, I like to use mnemonics. So the, my mnemonic for this, I always imagine this guy. Imagine this guy named Matt. This guy named Matt is a really kind of a weird guy smiley guy but he's a weird guy and this Matt has a problem he's a small problem what's his problem Matt really really needs to go pee he needs to go pee so he goes pee Matt P M A T P mitral valve aortic valve tricuspid valve and pulmonary valve all right hopefully this helps you it definitely helped me remember these and see you in the next video thank you for watching bye